not selling till I see zeros and commas. Let's check out this new tweet. It says, programming the apes to sell it to first pop. The PSYOP game is so obvious now. The amount of FUD in by mainstream media and paid shills has doubled over the last few weeks. This is endgame though. We are one positive PR news away from short capitulation and they know it. Don't be surprised if they allow the price to go up to 15 or 20 in hopes of the apes paper handing their shares. This is what they want. This is what they are hoping for by taking the price to these new lows. Stay zen, hodl, and take this opportunity to average down if you can. So I totally agree with this ape. It does seem like something could be brewing here. And it does feel like there is going to be a decent sized pop for AMC and ape pretty soon here. But the real question is going to be, are the retail investors really going to sell at the first sign of a move upward? In my opinion, I don't think they are. I really, really don't. I really see the retail investors rather holding on for some bigger money or holding on for zero. Again, everyone can do their own thing. I'm not saying that retail investors should or shouldn't do anything. I'm just saying that I've been a part of this community for going on two years now. And if I've learned anything, I know the retail investors are holding for some serious, serious cash. So whatever FUD, whatever mainstream media tries to tell us, just remember what's truly going on here. I bought AMC Fundamentals. Last February, after GameStop hit the news, with its squeeze, I decided to become a retail investor. I was a portfolio holder before that, but only with mutual funds. I didn't buy GameStop, didn't believe in it, and didn't understand the squeeze. I bought AMC, Carnival Cruise Lines, United Airlines because I saw the price opportunity with the lockdown. I ended up selling off United and Carnival for a very nice profit. And I held on and bought more AMC. Sold some in June to cover my costs and I'm sitting at XXXX lolling. No conspiracy, no short squeeze, no hedgy F. I bought AMC for the fundamentals. And I like Aaron Aaron. I've gotten lucky because of the apes. I'm now an ape too. But I wonder, how many more optimistic investors first then ape by holding. The SEC, the DTCC, the NYSC, the SHF, MSM, and big banks can all eat it. So comment down below what your thoughts on this and if you agree, but at this point, I personally think that AMC's fundamentals are as good as any other stock that pretty much anyone else would have in their portfolio. AMC's fundamentals are only getting better every single quarter. Let me know what you think down below.